Hello students, this is a quick mini tutorial on the environment for our Blackboard Collaborate virtual classroom sessions. This will help you get a little bit better oriented to the sections that we're interacting with and all the different tools on here. This, this video will be about five minutes. So in the top left corner is audio and video. You can minimize the video if you don't want to see it, if it's distracting to you, you can minimize that by making it smaller. You'll see me and hear me if you wish, or you can, again, minimize the video area. You'll notice that it makes your chat window bigger. That's another tip. You can resize the, the sections on this, and I really recommend when we do the small group breakout se sessions, when we do that today, I really recommend that you drag the side of your chat window and make it a bit bigger. This won't work on a mobile device, but if you're on a desktop or laptop, I suggest resizing your chat window or at least dragging the, the right side of it to make it bigger. In the chat window, you can post comments, questions, thoughts. It's optional to type. You can just read if you want. You can do read only. Um, you can do read write where you're reading other people's and commenting and that kind of thing. It's up to you how much you want to participate in the chat window. Again, I really recommend resizing it for easier ability to read it. There are also emoticons where you can pit if you are how you're feeling, thoughts and things, etc. I monitor the chat area frequently during the webinars to the best of my ability. Every once in a while I miss a question or something. So if I do, just IM me after the conference or email me or your coach or something. If you have a question, you still need answered. And finally, below the chat window is the participants area. You'll see my name and below that four buttons will make the most use of the first and fourth button. The first one is emoticons like smiley face, LOL, a virtual applause, thumbs up, approval, disapproval. So I encourage you to use these during the session. They're in the participants window. And finally, we'll use polling too, this fourth button, A, B, C, D, E. On occasion, actually pretty frequently, I will do the yes, no option where you'll do a green check if you agree or if, if a concept is clear. I use it for checking for understanding. So we'll use that a lot and I can clear it out as well. And I can also publish the poll results so that we can see what we were thinking. So nothing to report there now. And also something to know is this toolbar just to um, the right of the chat window. You can move that around too. And so I'm going to use the pointer tool. You can pick a pointer. And the thing about the pointer tool is you have to hold down your left mouse and so we can see it. We might, we might use the pointer, maybe not. The third tool down is the pen and the highlighter tool. If you click the pen tool, um, you can change colors as well. And if you click the highlighter tool, it also has a variety of colors, just FYI. The fourth tool is the text tool. If you click it, you can make your font bigger or smaller. So like right here, I have it defaulted to 36. You can do bold, italicized, underline, change the font, and change the color as well for the text tool. Those are just a few tools to know about. And to click out of all of those, just click the top button on the toolbar. And we'll we will occasionally use those. Something to know for, the, for this week and for next week is I'd like you to prepare ahead of time your paragraph to share during the small group breakout session. And so you'll be sharing that in the comment area. And so it really helps to have it prepared ahead of time instead of typing, unless you can type super fast, it helps to prepare it on a Word document and then cut and paste it into the chat window and then hit enter. The question to prepare for for week two is what is your own readerly life? What is your own writerly life? How do you share and model this appropriately with your students to help them develop in the area of literacy learning? Everyone needs to participate. You'll have six minutes. It'll go by lightning fast. And I'd like you to comment on each other's thoughts. So read and comment in the chat window, not on the whiteboard. That's it for this mini tutorial. I hope you have a great webinar. And email me if you have any questions or if you have any feedback on this video. I'll post it on Blackboard and email it to you guys. Thanks.